Good morning, everyone. Today I'll be presenting my global cinema project. The movie I have chosen is called My Beautiful Laundrette. It was directed by Stephen Fears, written by Hanif Kurishi. It is a comedy drama taking place in 1985 in London. Characters. The main character in this movie is Omar. His dad name is Hussein. His uncle's name is Nasir, and Uncle Nasir's friend is named Salim. Tanya is Uncle Nasir's daughter. Rachel is Uncle Nasir's mistress. Then we also have Johnny, and then the British gang. Omar, a young man living in South London during the mid-1980s with his father, once a famous left-wing journalist in Pakistan, lives in London but dislikes Britain's society and its international politics. His dissatisfaction with the world and the family tragedy have led him to sink into alcoholism so that Omar has to be his caregiver. Omar's uncle Nasir is a successful entrepreneur and an active member of the Pakistani community. Hussein asks Nasir to give Omar a job and after working for a brief time as a car washer in one of his uncle's garages, he is assigned the task of managing a rundown laundrette. With a toilet in a youth club, a constant boil on my bum. How's your foot there? It's all good. Nasir's Omar meets a few other community members: Tanya, Nasir's daughter, and possibly a future bride, and Salim, who traffics drugs and hires him to deliver them from the airport. While driving Salim and his wife home that night, the three of them get attacked by a group of right wing extremist street punks. Their parent later turns out to be Johnny, Omar's childhood friend. Omar tries to reestablish their past friendship, offering Johnny a job and the opportunity to adopt a better life by working to fix up the laundry with him. Johnny decides to accept and they resume a romantic relationship that had been interrupted after school. Running out of money, Omar and Johnny sell one of Salim's drugs to make cash for the laundry substantial renovations. I know who it is. <laughs> How are you? All right. Working? What are you doing now then? Oh, this kind of thing. Over! Come back! Come... What are you now? Chauffeur? <laughs> no. I'm onto something. Oh. What? I'll let you know. Still living at the same place? No, I don't get on with me, Mum and Dad. You? She died last year, my mother. Jumped onto the railway lines. Yeah, I heard. In the laundress opening day, Omar confronts Johnny and his face is past. Johnny, feeling guilty, tells him that though he cannot make it up to him, he is with him now. Nasir visits the laundress with his mistress, Rachel. As they dance together in the laundress, Omar and Johnny make love in the back room, narrowly escaping discovery. At the inauguration, Tanya confronts Rachel about having an affair with her father. Rachel accuses Nasir of having invited Tanya on purpose to have her insulted and storms off despite his protest. Later that night, a drunk Omar proposes to Tanya who accepts on the condition that he raise money to get away. Soon after, Salim reveals Omar that he is onto them and demands his money back. Omar's father stops by late in the night and appeals to Johnny to persuade Omar to go to college because he is unhappy with his son's role. I do feel that I know you. But you don't. Marry her? Well, what's wrong with her? When I say marry her, you damn well do it. I don't mind my father having a mistress. Oh, good. I'm so grateful. I don't mind my father spending our money on you. Why don't you mind? Please be nice to her. Be pressure off my fucking head. Or my father being with you instead of with our mother. Your penis works, doesn't it? <laughs> But I don't like women who live off men. Get going. That's a pretty disgusting, parasitical thing, isn't it? Sadia, come and look at the spin dryers. They're fluff drying. But tell me, who do you live off? And you must understand. We're of different generations, different classes. 
Everything is waiting for you. The only thing that has ever waited for me is your father. Offering Selima a chance to invest in his business much needed to clean out live for his money, Omar decides to take over two laundrettes owned by a friend of Nasir. Salim drives Johnny and Omar to view one of their properties and expresses his dislike of the British non-working punks in Johnny's gang. He attempts to run them over and injures one of them. Tanya just by the laundry and tells Johnny she is leaving, asking him to come along. He refuses, revealing the truth about him and Omar, and she departs wordlessly. Rachel falls ill with a skin rash, apparently caused by a ritual curse from Nasir's wife, and decides that it's best for her and Nasir to part ways. After Salim arrives and enters the laundrette, the punks who had been waiting crash his car. When he runs out, he is ambushed and viciously attacked. Johnny decides to interrupt and defend him, despite their mutual dislikes, and the punks turn their attention to him instead. As he refuses to fight back, they beat him savagely until Omar returns and intervenes, protecting Johnny as the punks smash the window of the laundrette and flee the scene. Nasir visits Hussein, and the two discusses their respective failures, agreeing between them that only Amar's future matters now. Nasir sees Tanya at the train platform while she is running away, and he shouts at her, but she disappears. Meanwhile, at the laundrette, Omar nurses Johnny in the two bond. The film ends with a scene of them shirtless and playfully splashing each other with the water from the sink. The complicated and frequently humorous connections between the members of the Pakistani and English communities are evident of the story setting in London during the Thatcher years. Margaret Thatcher is known for creating Thatcherism, which attempts to promote low inflation, the small state, and free markets through tight control of the money supply, privatization, and constraints of the labor movement. Oh, Tanya, ask her to bring some champagne. We'll drink to Thatcher and your beautiful laundry. Artistic merits. I think the main artistic merit in this movie is love. This movie is about a forbidden love. Two people who are different color and ethnicity fall in love with each other. A packy boy who is trying to make himself in a country that did not accept his kind. And a British boy who used to be in a gang that protested for the Pakis to not be there end up falling in love. Hiding it but being there for each other. Especially during a time where being gay was not fully accepted by society. Not till Papa comes, remember? Your father? He went out of his way with you. And with all my friends. He did, didn't he? Omar, what's you on about, man? About our years later, he saw the same boys. <laughs> and what were they doing? What? Marching. Marching through Lewisham. It was bricks and bottles and Union Jacks. It was immigrants out, kill us. People we knew. And it was you. He saw you marching and you saw his face watching you. Don't deny it, we were there when you went past. The end. Thank you for watching my presentation on My Beautiful Laundrette. I recommend this movie if you want to learn more about London's history and how they were in the 80s. This movie was very entertaining.